Not to say it's the most important of all the books, at least which I have come about in my life. I could easily state that the Bhagavad Gita returned my life to sanity, from becoming insane from the competition and the cruelty and the hypocrisy prevalent within what we know later European history. So we are very grateful that this beautiful book, the Bhagavad Gita, was translated and distributed by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, for the welfare of the entire population of the planet Earth. And today we are here in front of the Russian Embassy because in Tomsk, one of the cities in Siberia, in Russia, it has come to the attention to the court that some individuals are very unhappy about the success of Krishna consciousness following of Bhagavad Gita in Russia and they want to curb that by discriminating against the sacred teachings of Krishna who is nobody less than the giver of Dharma, Sanatan Dharma, the giver of truth, the giver of love. He is well known as being the supreme love personified. So in this way, he is actually the one who is telling everyone in the world, stop fighting, stop killing, become vegetarians, become lovers of all, protect your families, don't take drugs, don't lose the valuable human form of life, but simply say thank you and take care of yourself and everybody else. This is the basic teaching of the Bhagavad Gita and therefore it is a book of peace and love and understanding and forgiving. It is unbelievable to say in a few words how important and how sacred the Bhagavad Gita is for all of us who we have come to appreciate the sacred teachings of Gita and the Vedas it is our holy book and we worship it. Not only we read it, we worship it. We feel that Lord Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita, they are non different from each other. They are the words of God, the song of God. So therefore, anybody in the world raising objection towards the Bhagavad Gita, 
is not in a sane frame of mind. You may say, I don't believe it. You may say, I don't follow it. Krishna, He gives you the freedom to not believe it and not to follow it. And still, He will be your friend and supplying you all the food and air and everything. But at the same time, it is very clear that Lord Krishna is teaching the path of love for all, universal love and freedom where everybody has to make up his own mind, his own heart because Krishna is asking exclusively for our love. So if he, if he is asking for your love, then how do you think that he will create a disturbance in this world. He's asking for the love of everybody. So, therefore, we are standing here to give a testimony to this effect and to also request all the beautiful Russian people and American and Chinese or whoever, from wherever they are, to join together and appreciate that we are not this body, we are eternal souls. We are not Russians, we are not Germans, we are not Chinese, because Krishna says we are all the spirit souls which inhabit in this body, and that we all go the same way. When we die, we all go the same way according to our maturity and advancement. Therefore, while we are still here, doesn't matter what color of skin you have, what uh, education you have, if you're male or female or anything, you got to understand that we are all brothers and sisters and that we have to deal with each other with great care and respect, at least. So Krishna is the giver of love, peace, knowledge, wisdom, and above all, he personally cares for everybody. He says, I am situated in the heart of everyone. And from me comes knowledge, memory and forgetfulness. I am the giver of the Vedas. I am the knower of the Vedas. And by all the Vedas, I am to be known. So if you have a little appreciation, then you will understand that no judge, no government in the world has any jurisdiction over Gita, over faith, over religion in any part. And whoever dares to think that way, whoever poses himself as an authority of the faith and the love of others, he will be doomed by his own ignorance to be known as a bloody fool and we want to save everybody in the world from such shameful embarrassment and so that we uh, can give this statement we have to stand up all together and say Bhagavad Gita Ki! Jai! The Book of Love Ki! Jai! Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki! Jai! He translated the Bhagavad Gita as it is, so that the world will have a clear understanding that the Bhagavad Gita is a practical book of wisdom to guide us towards the perfection of our human form of life. Now we're going to go on chanting a little bit more to Brandenburg at all. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita.